Tefa Aleph, 1 Peter chapter 4. Therefore, since Messiah suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same mind, because he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, so that he no longer lives the rest of his time in the flesh for the lust of men, but according to the desire of Elohim. For we have spent enough of our past lifetime in doing the desire of the nations, having walked in indecencies, lusts, drunkenness, orgies, wild parties, and abominable idolatries, in which they are surprised that you do not run with them in the same flood of loose behavior, blaspheming, who shall give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this reason, the good news was also brought to those who are dead, so that whereas they are judged according to men in the flesh, they might live according to Elohim in the spirit. But the end of all has drawn near. Therefore, be sober-minded and be attentive in the prayers. And above all, have fervent love for one another, because love covers a great number of sins. Welcome one another without grumbling. As each one has received a gift, serve one another as good trustees of the manifold favor of Elohim. If anyone speaks, let it be as the words of Elohim. If anyone serves, let it be as with the strength which Elohim provides, so that Elohim might be praised in it all through Yeshua Messiah, to whom belong the esteem and the rule forever and ever. Amen. Beloved ones, do not be surprised at the fiery trial that is coming upon you to try you, as though some unusual matter has befallen you. But as you share Messiah's sufferings, rejoice in order that you might rejoice exultingly at the revelation of his esteem. If you are reproached for the name of Messiah, you are blessed, because the spirit of esteem and of Elohim rests upon you. On their part he is blasphemed, but on your part he is praised. For do not let any of you suffer as a murderer or thief or doer of evil, or as a meddler. But if one suffers being a messianist, let him not be ashamed, but let him esteem Elohim in this manner. Because it is time for judgment to begin from the house of Elohim, and if firstly from us, what is the end of those who do not obey the good news of Elohim? And if the righteous one is scarcely saved, where shall the wicked and the sinner appear? So then, those who suffer according to the desire of Elohim should commit their lives to a trustworthy creator in doing good.